Creek. We're going to learn a version based off of how Earl Scruggs played it today. So let's go back and play it how we're going to learn today. To the written music of this tune or what we call the tablature we want to learn how to read tablature we also want to learn some basic rolls or right hand techniques we want to learn a couple of chords and we want to learn a couple of left hand techniques so let's get right into the first thing there how to read tablature so if you look at banjo tab we have five lines and those represent the five strings of our banjo so if we look at our banjo like this, that's sort of how the lines are represented on the tab. So the top line is your first string, moving on down second, third, fourth, fifth. And whenever we have a number on those lines, that's just telling us what string to play and what fret to play with the left hand. So if you see a zero, say for example on the first string, then that means open first string. If we have a two on the first string, that would be second fret on the first string. So the lines are the strings, the numbers are the frets. Above the tab, we have some letters that just indicates which finger to use of the left hand. And below the tab, we also have some letters T, I, M, and that represents what fingers to use of the right hand. All right. So there's some other things as far as the road map or the structure of the song we want to talk about. They have repeat signs in a lot of music and repeat sign is a double bar with two dots. And it just means you repeat that particular section. The other thing is first and second endings. So you'll notice when we get into Cripple Creek, you'll have a measure that may have a one and then a line over it and then the repeat sign that means that's the first ending. So we play that the first time through that section. The second time you skip that one and you go to the second ending. So those are a couple of roadmap things that we need to know about tab. The other thing, some rhythmic signs. So with tablature, generally a straight line just indicates a quarter note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If they're stemmed together, they're eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Uh, if it's a sixteenth note, you'll have an additional line. It'll, it'll be like a quarter note and then an additional line, just like on standard sheet music has that double line. Okay, so those are just a few things we need to know about tablature. There's some other details we can get into on another lesson. But that's some basics that'll help us get through Cripple Creek today. The second topic we want to look at are some basic right hand techniques or rolls, roll patterns. The first is a pinch. So we're going to play a two with the index and then we're going to pinch with five and one. So we have two, pinch. It's also good to practice three pinch. Okay, so we wanna be really repetitive when we're learning these rolls, make them second nature before we even get into learning the tune. Next is an alternating thumb roll. Alternating thumb roll is three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. And that's gonna be with thumb, index, thumb, middle. roll we want to look at is a forward roll. In this forward roll we're going to go two one five two one five two one. Keep 
keep in mind when we do put these roles into context, the context of a tune, we may only play a snippet or a little portion of them. But we're going to learn the full roles as we're starting. And then when we learn tunes, it could just be a little portion of them. Okay, next are a couple of basic chords. First is a G chord. A G chord is open, so we don't have to hold anything with the left hand. So as long as we're in tune, that's a G chord. Next is a C chord. A C chord, we're going to play the index on the second string first fret. We're going to play the ring on the first string second fret and the middle finger on the fourth string second fret. And I always recommend to practice your roll patterns holding these chords. That way you can see if every note is clear. So you could play your, your pin or your alternating or your forward. Okay, and lastly, we want to look at two left-hand techniques. The first is called a slide. A slide is when we play a note and we keep pressure held down and slide up to another note. In this case, we're going from two to five on the first string. Now we want to be sure we keep plenty of pressure. If we don't have enough pressure, the note will just stop. So we want to keep pressure in order for the note to continue on up to the next desired pitch. Another slide we need to know for Cripple Creek is a two to four slide on the third string. Okay, the next left hand technique we're gonna talk about is a hammer on. In this case, we're gonna play a zero on the fourth string to a two on the second fret. And with the hammer on, we want to place enough pressure that we create a second note just with one pluck. So we're going zero on the fourth to two on the fourth. It can be a little tempting to try to pluck that twice, but just remember it's one pluck and then the, the hammer with the left hand. So we're getting two notes for one pluck. Okay, so that covers the basic topics that we need to know in order to get into the Cripple Creek tablature. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we're starting out with a pinch holding down the first string at the second fret, and then we'll be sliding up to the fifth fret. We'll keep that held down and we'll pinch it again. Then we'll have an open one and an open two. Now we'll hold our C chord and play a five, two, one, five forward roll. And then we have an open one and an open pinch. Now we'll play a two to four slide using our alternating thumb roll. Now we have an open alternating thumb roll. And the first ending here coming up next is the hammer on zero to two on the fourth string that we learned with an alternating thumb roll. And then an open three. Then we have the same pinch on the second fret. And then we have that repeat sign which tells us to go back to measure two. Open one, open two. C chord, five, two, one, five. Open one, pinch. Two to four, slide with the alternating thumb roll. Open alternating thumb roll. Now we'll go to the second ending, which is the zero to two hammer on with the alternating thumb roll. Open three, open pinch. Now moving on to the second part, or the B part as we would call it, 
two to four slide with an alternating thumb roll. Open alternating thumb roll. Two to four slide again with the alternating thumb roll. Open four, pinch. Two to four slide, alternating thumb roll. Open alternating thumb roll. And then we end this B part the same way we did the A part. And we repeat the B part. Two to four slide, alternating thumb roll. Open. Another slide. Great. So let's go back through and play the entire piece very slowly while we look at our tab. One, two, three. Let's play it through one more time up to speed. One, two, three. Best of luck.